Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, excuse me the mess, please don't look at it. My iron is in pieces, I got new bits for it. Smashed the sleeve, tried to remove the old one. Got new sleeves, but they are not here yet, so I had to get this one to work for now. Anyway, as per the video, let's go and extract the pin code from this module. So this module is a WCM from a Jeep Cherokee 2008, I believe it is. Um, and as you can see in there, WCM 5Y, 5WY 7627B. Um, so yeah, so this is the module, is the, the module that holds the immobilizer keys um, and I believe also the wheel uh, pressure the tire pressure sensors TPMS sensors anyway uh, all I need from here is the pin code and that's what I'm going to try to take you through is how to get to the pin code so the first thing we're going to do is open this module quite uh, simple just remove this bracket and then you have a few little tabs around I think there's two on each side two in there then there's two underneath here there's one in the corner and two over there and we will be opening the module and then we'll proceed and here it is my module opened we don't need to go any further all you need is this bit you don't need to take anything else and as you can see we have let me take you through the bits we have the processor is an ST we do have let me turn it around because now is the other way around put it like that a little bit more straight then we have no oh, come on light maybe like that I guess so processor then we have here, if we focus and I can read, okay, I'll read it for you. So this one here is the CAN transponder, which is a TGA 1020 or something like that. Then right here on the side, that's my EPROM. My EPROM is an ST95080. Can you see? Okay, so there we go. So my CAN transceiver, TGA 1020 my EPROM 95080 then here we have my PCF my uh, what is called my transponder and some other chips not really important for this next let's gonna remove this EPROM and go from there Just we don't forget but the orientation of the chip so we know which way it goes now let me see how the chip looks underneath on the legs there's no cover on this uh, board so the oh it's beautiful there's no uh, little bit just Okay, let's gonna give a clean. Let's gonna read this. Okay, just make sure I read the chip okay. Come on, so there we go, 95080. Just in case it was a 060 or something along those lines. So 95 is I know it's upside down but it's 95080 spot on. So let's now select our chip. So let's gonna go to device. So it's a IPROM, is a ST and is a ninety-five zero eighty. There it is. Okay, it's gonna read. Okay, I know. Damn it. Options, environment, time through USB. Okay, read. 
Okay, and the reading was concluded and I stopped the video just before the data showed. Uh, as you can see now, this is the same data but is blurred where the VIN number is and where the PIN code is for reasons that you guys might understand. Uh, but uh, still the information is valid uh, even with this. You don't need to know the VIN number nor the PIN code. So, uh, this is my chip, this is my data, uh, after line, after address 0, 240, byte, maybe 8 or 9, the chip is completely, uh, uh, sorry, after bit uh, 0, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, from here, down, down, the chip is completely empty, there's no data. I could scroll it down, but trust me, it's completely empty up to the end. Um, you can confirm that your read is okay by checking the VIN numbers. The VIN numbers is repeated twice, so you have VIN number up here, and then you have VIN number again down here. And your PIN code uh, is gonna be... Now, uh, just a quick note here, uh, Xproc doesn't really show you, but this is kind of basic knowledge, guys. But if you don't know, I'll take you through. Some softwares will show you. Uh, Xproc doesn't, but it doesn't really matter. So on the side here, on the left hand side, you have your address. Okay? Then on each address, you have the bits. And the way it works is, for example, you have address uh, 000, and then bit 1, uh, sorry, bit 0 is your first one. In this case, it's FF. And then you have, it goes all the way up to F. So it's going to be address. For example, address 0000, uh, bit 0, then you have bit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then you go A, B, C, D, E, F. That's why on your hexadecimal data you never have nothing more than Fs. F is the, as high as it goes. You never see a, a H or a, a G or a T. That data doesn't exist. Maximum it goes is Fs, okay? Um, also, um, what was I about to say? Uh, oh, okay, so the pin code. Let me show you then where the pin code is. The pin code on this particular mod, uh, um, EPROM, and on this particular uh, WCM is going to be on address 170, bit 6 and 7. So if you come down, all the way down, you look for address 170, just right there. Then you're going to look for bit 6 and 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay, the only other thing now to take note of is that the bytes are inverted. So, oh sorry, the bits are inverted. So whatever data you have on those two bits, you're going to have to swap them around. Okay, and that will give you the pin code. Sorry guys, I was... Someone was uh, calling me. So as I was saying, the bits, uh, they are inverted, which means your bit 7 is going to be your first two digits of the pin code. And bit 6 is going to be your second two digits of your four pin, uh, four digits pin code. So the, this uses the four pins. So I'm going to kind of explain you on paper um, what exactly I mean by this. But hopefully it will make sense at the end. Okay, and just a quick example here. Um, obviously, I've only put uh, something where we are interested, and I will once again apologize for the misinformation when I said uh, bit six and seven. So it is six and seven when you count the position. So if you start on one, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. But, when you actually look properly on the bits, because you start on a zero, is actually position five and six. So I do strongly apologize for that mistake. Um, I just was not in position anymore to go back and record the lot, of the, 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 the whole lot again. So I do apologize for that. Um, but, uh, but I'll put something on the screen to make sure uh, I will rectify 
uh, the, inform I correct the, the, the wrong information as I speak. So anyway, let's going to take this as an example. So address 0170. Then you're going to go to beat 5 and 6. <laughs> Position 6 and 7, but beat 5 and 6. And you're going to have four numbers in there. Each beat will have two numbers. Uh, this, however is not your pin code so I put this here just as an example 1368 this is not the real numbers in there but let's say for example you have 1368 uh, what you need to do now is invert these two bits and what you do is or swap you swap these two bits around so your true your actually true pin code is gonna be 68 Come on, 13. So that is going to be your true pin code. Not what says in there, but that. So you swap those two, and that gives you the pin code. So, once again, I do apologize for that wrong information on the bits, uh, on the bits number. Uh, I do, I do um, apologize for that. Um, and I think that is going to be it for this video. So, what else to say? I really hope that there's some information on this video that you're going to find useful. Uh, guys, please remember, if you are working even with the same WCM, but with a different EPROM, there is a possibility that the data is going to be in a different place. Uh, I'm only taking you through this particular module and this particular EPROM. So always bear that in mind. Um, that said... Um, yeah, so hope there's some information on this video you guys are going to find useful. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you do have any questions, any comments, as always, put them below. And like always, guys, thanks so much for watching.